Hello, everyone. My name is Huang Ge. I am an undergraduate student at Huazhong University of Science and Technology, China, and I would like to present you my work, Attention Guided Multi Scale Regression for Syntax Detection. As demonstrated from the title, this work is about the task syntax detection, which detects text regions in the complex background and label them with bounding boxes. Here in this picture, you can see there are several texts. The mission here is to fix several proper bounding boxes, as shown now. We call these four quantangles bounding boxes. Each bounding box should include as complete information as possible. In, or, in other words, they shall not just include only a piece of a complete word. So after I scrutinized the output of the current methods, I found out that there still are some limitations existing in it. On the one hand, some predictions of the current model suffered from the low recall problem. For example, as shown on the left, some syntax on this traffic board are failed to be detected. On the other hand, when it comes to syntax of large scales, as shown on the right, the current model tends to regress multiple instead of one bounding box to cover this syntax. In order to tackle with these two problems, I proposed this revised model. First, I introduce multi-scale network architecture, which consists of three steps, downsampling, separate feature extracting, and feature merging. The input images are first downsampled to its half, and then both images are forwarded to the pre-trained backbone. Here, I chose ResNet v150. Then, the features extracted pass through a U-shaped pipeline, and features with the same width and height are concatenated together. Now, the next step is the essential part of the multi-scale structure. Same as the idea introduced above, features of the same width and height in these two separate pipelines are further concatenated together. Therefore, we finally got the network structure looks like this. After passing through a convolutional layer with a filter size of 3 plus 3, the output features are used to produce our predictions. By the way, the predictions consist of three parts. Score map of, of one channel, text boxes of four channels, and rotation angle of one channel. Moreover, in order to tackle with the low recall problem, a tension mechanism is introduced. Here, as you can see on the picture, the attention mechanism consists of two modules, channel refine and spatial refine. Here shows how spatial attention module works. After average and max pulling, convolutional layer and sigmoid function, the output, spatial attention, spatial attention map focuses on which part of the image is of more importance in terms of syntax detecting. The channel attention module, as shown here, outputs the channel attention map 
which demonstrates which channel worth better emphasis for syntax detection task. If you want to get more information, they are illustrated in my paper and feel free to read it. Now, let's go back to the network architecture. The attention mechanism is placed not only after the features before sending to the prediction, but also every step next to the concatenation of features from these two branches. This is to apply attention module to different skills as a, and as a result, the prediction results are also better than simply placed the attention module at the end of the pipeline. As you can see here, the places I insert attention module are marked by the red arrows. The prediction results are shown here, and these are the prediction results of the same picture as I shown at the beginning. As you can see in the left picture, there are more bonding boxes thanks for the introduction of attention mechanism and because of the multi-scale architecture. Now, the model outputs a whole bonding box for the relative giant syntax ThinkPad, then two separate bonding boxes at the beginning. Contrasting with the prediction results without multi-scale architecture and attention mechanism, we can see the benefits of the new methods. The improvement shows that multi-scale architecture is beneficial to help the model process input images of large scales. I think there are major two reasons. On the one hand, at the model training process, the input images as ground truths are learned from different scales. Therefore, the model received more information during the training process. On the other hand, at the testing process, the input images waiting for prediction are firstly rescaled to its half, which helps normalizing those large syntax, and then the model can treat them as normal unsized regular syntax. Moreover, the attention mechanism boosts the model's reading ability and pre-selecting areas where it's highly possible to contain syntax. As a result, the model's ability is improved in terms of both precision and recall. The next slide here shows several prediction results on ACTA 2015 and MSRA TD500. Take some time to look at this picture. The bonding boxes are in magenta, and as you can see, the model have shown its power detecting text in all kinds of backgrounds, scales, length, and even languages. The detailed implementing details are illustrated in the paper. Uh, if you are interested, you can go find them. Finally, the ablation study toward the introduction of multi-scale and attention mechanism brought comparable improvement to the F-score. Notice that the multi-scale architecture strongly improved the recall accuracy. However, the precision is somehow lower than the original U-shaped architecture. So here there is a leverage between recall and precision. And although the precision is sacrificed to some extent, the improvement of recall is way more radical and it can be seen as a trade-off 
between recall and precision to reach a higher F score. The introduction of attention mechanism, on the other hand, improved both recall and precision simultaneously, which makes it a relatively stable method. In general, although the final precision is still 1% 1 1 lower than the original model, the tremendous improvement of recall makes the introduction of multi-scale architecture and attention mechanism still an effective way to enhance the model's ability of syntax detection in terms of the total F-score. The total F-score improved by 4% by four than the original U-shaped architecture. In conclusion, I propose a novel effective syntax detector. The application of multi-scale structure effectively boosts its ability to extract features from natural scenes. In addition, the introduction of attention mechanism further refines the, the ability of the detector to distinguish between text regions and background. Thank you for your listening. And if you have any questions, please leave in the comments or send me an email. That's all for my paper, Attention Guided Multiscale Regression for Syntax Detector. Thank you for your listening.